In a prior tutorial video, we showed how to use Excel to do a nonlinear regression. We have this data right here, which is the heart rate data that gives us our time and heart rate. Let's say it's collected from a smartwatch or some other device. And we want to be able to correlate this to a certain nonlinear function where the beats per minute is going to depend on the time. And we also have four unknown parameters, C0 through C3. So we want to be able to fit those, uh, fit this correlation to the data. And we did that previously in Excel. I'll just run through this really quick. We had time and our measured heart rate. And then we just plotted that, uh, added uh, some unknown parameters, space for those, and gave, us, gave some guess values. There is our calculated heart rate. So we just plugged in that formula you see there on the left and then we calculated a square error and then also a sum of squared errors and then came to finally to data solver and set our objective our squared error uh, sum of squared error objective uh, to a minimum value by changing the cells that are in this range the unknown parameters and then we optimize. We solve this and we saw that we got a good fit. So what we want to do now is is do this same exercise with Python. So we want to just be able to compare what we did in Excel for doing the nonlinear regression and compare that to a Python solution. So let me go ahead and close this out. I'm going to do this first of all with CurveFit. I'll just kind of walk through this. We first of all need pandas and a couple other packages. We'll need matplotlib for plotting, and we'll use the scipy.optimize, and we'll use CurveFit for this. We'll also use the sklearn metrics to calculate our R squared, and then we'll import our data. Okay, so this is going to be time and the heart rate, just like we had in Excel. And there's my URL for that um, for that data, and I'll just say x equals pandas package dot read CSV. URL, so you can import directly from a web address. I'll just print the first couple rows, okay, with x dot head. And if you change the number inside those parentheses to 10, for example, you'll get the first 10 rows. By default, it's five. I'll extract some vectors: the time and the measured heart rate, which I assigned to ym. I'll define the function for the fitting, so I need to find my beats per minute, and I'll return this as a function of the C0 through C3 plus the time. Then I have some optimal parameters I'm going to find. They're my initial guess values. And then I'll use curve fit to fit the model. I'll print the parameters and then I'll calculate the prediction for my plot. I'll also calculate the R squared value and display that. And then I'll plot the data and the prediction. Okay, so there here I'm just creating a new plot with the predicted and measured values. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and just um, do this one. I have this is the regression scipy, and I'll also show you how to do this with the new gecko package as well. So when I run this in Python, it's going to do the same thing that the Excel sheet did, but programmatically. Okay, if you don't have something like sklearn you can always do import pip okay and then once you do that you can do pip dot main and install sklearn and then it will download it and sometimes it has a hard time installing that so I'm gonna just go to if you don't have that you know, some required package like sklearn. Uh, I'm going to run this one as an administrator and and I'll just navigate to my Python. Okay, and then this will be uh, pip install sklearn. I'll try it this way instead and see if it installs. Okay, it looks like 
it might be successful. It got the wheel file, the WHL file, and downloaded that, and hopefully we'll install it. So if you're ever missing a package, um, you, know, you can either do it through the Python script. That typically works for me. I don't know why it didn't work this time. Or you can do it from the command line. If you installed Python for all users, you have to start the command prompt as an administrator instead of uh, you know normally. Okay, um, I'm going to try this one more time with sklearn installed uh, through pip. Okay, it looks like NumPy. I need NumPy in there, so yeah, let's just add that. Okay, and I'm just going to add, I'll do import NumPy as NP. Okay, and this one should hopefully work, and there's my uh, data regression. Okay, you can also see the R squared value is 0.993 down there at the bottom, and you also see the optimal parameters with the header there printed of the uh, date of the time and the heart rate. Okay, let's do this same thing with Gecko. Now, uh, one of the advantages of Gecko is it can do a lot of the things that separate packages can do in Python, but it's all in one, uh, all kind of in one place. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this with a lot of, a um, little bit more speed here. I'll just do from Gecko, import Gecko. And I also have the SK Learn as well. Same thing that I did before, just pandas read CSV. Print the first couple rows, extract the vectors, just like we did before. Okay, now here's where we're getting into the gecko model that's that's a little bit newer. Okay, we have our gecko model m equals gecko. And then I have some parameters. I have my time and my c0, c1, c2, and c3. Now as I define those, I also define some default values. And I'm also going to turn the status on for those. So in Gecko, if I have the status off, it won't estimate them. If I have the status on or equal to 1, it will estimate those. And then I have my beats per minute. I'm also going to give it the value there. And that's going to give it the measured values. And that will be used for fitting. Okay, the feedback status, I turn that one on if I want to use the measurements. And then I have my regression equation. Now you can put variables on either side of the equation. In this case, beats per minute equals that nonlinear expression that you see there. Here's the regression mode. Uh, this is parameter estimation, I mode two. And then I'll optimize it. I'll print the parameters. And then I'll calculate the R squared like I did before. And then I'll plot the data. And we're done. Okay, let me run this one. Okay, and if you don't have Gecko, you can just do pip install Gecko, just like we showed with the SK Learn. And there it goes. So we optimize this with the IPOPT solver, which is a large scale nonlinear programming solver. And it took about 1.2 seconds to do that. You see the optimal parameters and the R squared value, just like we had from CurveFit. Okay, so I hope this helps. This is, these are two examples of doing a nonlinear regression in Python and also how it compares to the, uh, how it compares to Excel. And we calculated the unknown parameters. And then we used a solver to solve those optimal, one, op optimal parameters. And then we calculated an R squared value.